Are you tired of always saying yes, yet feeling overwhelmed? Do you find it hard to prioritize your own needs without feeling guilty? If so, we can help you break through and reclaim your life from people pleasing. I want to help you build boundaries, build confidence and say no without the guilt. Discover how to stop being a people pleaser without feeling guilty today. So let's transform your mindset and empower you to put yourself first. Absolutely guilt free. Stay tuned on how you can stop being a people pleaser and start living authentically. Hi, I'm Amy Luper, the founder of Resilient Growth Channel. This is a personal development channel that you can like and subscribe to for more personal development content. It is my passion to help you really unleash your greatest potential without burning out. Okay, people pleasing is really a common behavior for a lot of high achievers. It comes from this deep need to be liked and approved at all costs. People pleasers often don't even realize that they're giving up their own wants and needs at all costs. They don't even realize they're doing it. It's a subconscious behavior pattern. I noticed this in my own journey as a woman in sales. I'd won many awards and then I became a parent. And then all of a sudden I found myself in burnout after big life events. And it was like, wow, you were really trying to make everyone else happy. Spouse, kids, coworkers, you name it. It was exhausting and it just led to burnout. That's the only award I got was a burnout award. And so many women find themselves in this where we're dealing with diseases, anxiety, chronic stress related diseases. And you keep wrapping yourself up in the spaghetti noodle with like a spaghetti noodle on a fork. And you just feel like your energy is sucked right out of you. You might be looking at the mirror and asking yourself, what am I missing in my life? You know, something's off. I feel isolated. I feel misunderstood. I feel alone. But I'm not sure what it is. I can't put my finger on it. Well, the reason is because consciously as people pleasers, we're actually abandoning ourselves. It's true. We're not leading with authenticity. We're not letting other people connect with the truthful version of ourselves. We're not being truthful to our own wants and needs because we're so afraid we're going to let someone else down. Okay, but why do we do this? Well, 99% of the time, I hate to tell you, but it's, it's a conditioned behavior from your childhood. You know, those years zero to eight, perhaps you grew up around a lot of emotional chaos. Maybe you were emotionally neglected. Maybe you were, went through physical abuse. For whatever reason, you had an insecure attachment with your caregivers. That causes a lot of anxiety in a child, right? They learn to put their needs aside. They people please to receive third-party validation. And that all comes from a biological response to avoid pain right? They don't want to be in pain. They don't want to be stuck in between toxic relationships or gaslighting or parentification or any of those things that can happen to kids that are in between toxic kind of relationships in a house. So if this has happened to you, I'm really sorry. I just want to give you a big hug because I know what you're going through. I've created my coaching practice after experiencing some of these deep pains in my own life, right? Through various stages of my life. And I know that with commitment and dedication to reconditioning behaviors, they're no longer serving you, you're gonna find freedom. You're gonna find peace. So let's talk about breakthrough, okay? There are four things you can start doing today to help you start to feel connected again, unconditionally loved again, and feel that sense of belonging that absolutely every human needs without feeling guilt, shame, anger, or fear. Those are low level energies I don't want you to feel anymore. So number one, step into relationship with God and yourself. Prioritize time to realize that you are worthy as a child of God. He is your unconditional parent. And with in relationship with him, we're gonna naturally feel that sense of higher self-worth. Then you can work on prioritizing your own needs and wants and growing that self-worth muscle over time. Tonight, make a really simple decision and just tell your family what you want for dinner. What you want for dinner, not what they want, what you want. Start with very small activities like that. Number two, set boundaries. When you know your wants and needs, you're gonna be able to do this more consistently and that will build your self-worth. You might ruffle feathers, it's a change. You're gonna show up differently to people, right? You're not gonna be people pleasing. But that's okay. So if you grew up with a critical or perfectionist parent, you might feel guilt or shame during this process, and that's normal. You can choose to act in your power by staying connected to really what you need versus an outside emotion. Remember, emotions are only there for 90 seconds in your body, and the rest of it is your choice. So empower yourself to hold your power, keep those boundaries so that you keep toxic relationships out of your life. Toxicity has no more place in your life. Three, find support. This is a behavior change process. It doesn't happen overnight and it's hard. Okay, so finding support and a trusted friend, advisor, coach, therapist, name it is so important. Part of support is also treating yourself well. 
treating yourself with kindness and receiving that is so huge. Number four, learn emotional regulation skills so you can make a decision and lead your life with consistency. When you're regulated energetically and emotionally, your body's going to feel better. You're going to feel stronger. You're going to feel more secure. You're going to feel more in flow. You're going to trust yourself. And when we trust more, starts with us, we gain the capability to connect with others at a deeper level and trust them. And this allows us to leave everything better, be more connected. Our loved ones will respect us more. The toxic behaviors and relationships will go by the wayside. So partner with a coach is really important during this process because in my life, I had multiple coaches help me through this over the years. It took a while because I had to peel back those layers of being a people pleaser. And I didn't realize it until after I burned out in early 2020 that the people pleasing behavior was sucking all of my energy and focus. I was constantly looking for third party validation, which opens that cycle of chronic stress, broke down mind and body connection. And I was suffering from adrenal fatigue, hormonal imbalances, and started to see some really toxic behavior and personal relationships. Not a good place to be, but I kept feeding it. I kept enabling it with my people pleasing. So if you want to start to heal those inner parts that have been neglected for so many years, this work is so important and you deserve a peace filled life. It doesn't have to be so difficult. So I really invite you to find clarity in that. Use the link below in the description below. You'll see book a call, book a call with me, hop on for 30 minutes to better understand how to shift out of the chaos of trying to make everyone else happy and start to find your own joy and peace again. Rediscover who you are, even if you're in midlife. Like and subscribe to be notified of more resilient growth content right here. I'm going to see you next week where I release content every single Wednesday morning. And in between now and then, I hope you go ahead and hit that book a call button so that you can really move past this. You can find peace. You can find joy. You can find your self identity again as a woman, no matter what kind of adversity or challenges or uncertainty you're navigating today. I just know that God wants you to feel that. He wants you to feel that flow from him. He wants you to know that you are a child of him and can do absolutely anything in the world. That's the coolest part. And when we start to realize that and we start to just grow in that relationship and that leadership power, and we start to emotionally regulate our bodies, all of those midlife things that can come up, especially for us women that are stress related, hormonally related, it starts to really minimize those kind of health issues. And we just start to really fly in the right direction. And we start to feel like, wow, we're at home again. Imagine feeling at home again, right in here. Okay. We'll talk to you soon and we'll see you next week.